Hello guys, Mucho here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a video of Mage Lock Monk which is called MLG against Red Warrior Arsham. So here I'm gonna be showing you guys how to deal with this matchup and how kinda like you know we trade cooldowns with them and like we play bad we, when we play in. So basically here I'm gonna be facing one of the best teams in North America which is like basically the best red vanguards cast guys the arsham and revolo is the warrior i think it's like a 27 20 27 40 mmr around there this is our alts this is not my main yet <clears throat> but i'm gonna be showing you guys how do we do against them so here we go let's resume the match so it's dalaran it's a small map of always you're gonna put rain of fire to like gain your stacks you put a gateway right away into port then I'm moving all the way down here because I have a feeling that they want to go me so the pal is pushing in already as you guys can see the pal is pushing in my monk is hot the water is coming in I'm like hmm my mage is right here so they're not going me right I have six sacks already so the pal wants to go me I mount up to buy more time I got stone bolt right here which is okay if you guys are wondering what this add-on is, stop faking you idiot, it's my resolve string kit basically. So that's kinda cool. Uh, so he put a cap totem right there. That's no problem. I just, my mage is not in range to get stunned, but I'm just gonna come flag and kill it right away. My monk double sweep those two right here. And the chami is right here. So I haven't popped any cooldowns, my mage is going ham right now. The chami pop healing tight totem. It's a weak auto that usually people like to kill i mean you need the we got in order to kill the totem really fast right so here right now the what the pally give freedom to the warrior and sacrifice so he takes less damage but the shami and the pally are running out they're like leaving the water by himself here stuck and they're running out <clears throat> the water still have freedom and has sacrifice yeah, okay no problem he has his defensive and everything but then my mom put a ring of peace on the water right here. He rubbed the he rubbed the water right here. The water's gonna use blaze storm. He's like, nope, I'm gonna get hit. I'm outy. So the chami pop a uh, a gist trinket, which is like a magic damage reduction trinket. <clears throat> so he popped this while my mage is going him. Sacrifice. They're already in the pillar. The water leap out, <clears throat> which is cool. We said, uh, should we go mo uh, Should we go healer? And I'm like, yeah, sure. But the hit is already on the builder. I cannot hit anything. He earned them. My mage is like on that side, right? <clears throat> Something that you guys want to know. You guys don't want to be on the same side when your mage is bursting. Why? Because he's on that side right there in that left corner. So I need to go all the way to the right corner in order to like box them out from each side, you know? Like you box them. And you start like doing PvE damage. That way they cannot like keep running on the pillar and LOS you. So I'm about to go all the way here to the right side. While my mage is like able to hit them right there. I'm going right here. With 6 sacks. As you guys can see the damage breakdown is still is insane right. Because I have I have only have done 52k. But they, only, they haven't done anything yet. <laughs> but I haven't popped my cooldowns yet. So here. I'm just trying to do damage. I Shadow Fury here. I'm going to be casting a Chaos Ball here. As you guys can see, I'm casting Chaos Ball, no cooldowns. So I throw a Chaos Ball, they pop Grounding, and they pop Reflect here. That's insane, right? So the Shami pop Ascendance too. Charge, Freedom, they they like kick my Mage to get his probably his Trinket to stomp, into Stumble, which is that's what happened right here. <clears throat> so this is Conquer of Banner, Avatar from the Water, so this is when they're going. This is when they're about to do the most damage. So the Pali, heals Shield of Vengeance and Battle Master Trinket, which this, this thing give him like increase his HP. So he has like a hundred, you know, a hundred K HP basically. So here I throw I throw my my damage basically. I mean not my all my all my damage, but I throw my blasphemy and my Inferno stun. So they get like blasphemy stun into Inferno stun. So now. You guys can see the red is pumping damage with Conqueror Banner. It has like 12 seconds of big damn. So I'm playing, let me tell you guys, my PP talents right now, they don't show right here, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm playing Fell Feature, which is like a motor strike. I'm playing Demon Armor to be more tanky, physical damage reduction, and I'm playing Amplified Curse. 
So why is that? I'm being just experimenting with it a little bit. You know, because you can pick Reflect, you can pick Shadow Rift and pour them out. You can, you know, you have options, basically. So I'm playing with Amplify here to test this thing out. So what it does is like, when I press, uh, when I press Amplify, I press Curse of Weakness on the Pally. Why Curse of Weakness? Because if you read the tooltip, what it does is like when you empower this like weakness talent when this weakness ability spell curse with this amplify talent they won't be able to crit at all so i'm like amplify as soon as he pop wings i amplify weakness on the pally so this is my second inferno i cast immolate i put poop amplify weakness on the pally the pally is hitting me but he's still gonna do a lot of damage but he won't be able to crit <coughs> So here I'm doing some damage, normal, just like Inferno, Immolation, the, the Warrior Pop, Egg Shrinket right here, right? That's kind of cool, that's kind of good for us. The Chami and the Pally are right here in the box right now. So I'm casting a Fear, he pummeled me on Fear. I ha I still have my Darso. Here I pop Sora, the Chami is casting Hidden Rain, my pet is somewhere over here, in my pet is like right here. So you see my pet is a little bit something, little tiny right here. So usually I think the Chami made a mistake or he forgot or maybe he have a different like mindset or something. I don't know. He They usually play like when they press like Spirit Wall Grace, which is like that this green debuff right here. Uh, They go into immune casting while moving for like five seconds. But here he presses Spirit Wall Grace and he's casting while moving. And he's not immune to kick. He's not immune to interrupts, right? So I already pop like my star rod. I have three stacks. I have dark so they don't have grounding right now. They don't have ascendance. They don't have he doesn't have reflect. The bottom they have trinket, but what happened here is I'm gonna interrupt the shaman into I'm gonna put a emulate, kick the shaman. So I'm gonna put a havoc on the shaman. His kick in order to get a double coil. I double coil the shami and the warrior. The Chami cannot do anything anyway because his kick, the, Ch the Pally is trying to off heal, as you, get, you just can see, but it doesn't, it's not going to do anything. And I cast in a bolt, and my Monk is rolling in to get a touch of death, but the guy is 5%. He, he trinketed too late into Rally, Rallying Cry, Parry, but he's too late, right? And the Chami is on coil anyway. He won't be able to link, and he's kicked. And the guy died. So this was like a 27, 40 MMR or something like that. Let me see. <coughs> but yeah, this matchup, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more here. So this is like a 2700 game, 2730. So you don't want to over pop with your mage sometimes. Sometimes you can get away with it, like I said before. Sometimes you don't want to like over pop. Why? Because as soon as you pop CDs, and your my and your mage pop cities they're just gonna run around in pillars and after that they're gonna do their go and you won't they're not be you know they're not gonna be scary they're not gonna be scared of you at all why it's like okay log doesn't have dark so mage doesn't have like deadborn let's go all in brother and they're just gonna like cleave you and you're gonna have a hard time basically you still can win right but you guys have to like properly cc things in order like you know sometimes you can get away and like pop cds and your mage pop cds and you guys like get them in the middle of the map and but in this type of map it's a very small map they can run super easy so you don't want to do that kind of stuff if it's like moon gambala if it's like robo drone if it's like a uh, tall Varon arena those big maps the angel arena <clears throat> those are big maps and you guys can like over pop and like get them in the in the center because they have to like you know it's a big area so you guys can like Heal super easy there, but in this small maps, you don't want to over pop with your with your partner. You guys have to communicate who goes first. Your mage can go first, or you can go first. Doesn't matter who, but someone has to go first. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this game. Thank you guys for watching. The support has been amazing. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up. Let me know. Make sure you guys like like my like my videos, comment, hit me up with a follow, subscription. You know, I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for much. You know, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch, please. That's all I'm asking for. Outside of it, you know, 
ask me anything i'm here for you guys to give you guys my knowledge i'm gonna be posting more videos like this if you guys those type of videos let me know if they're too long if they're too boring or something let me know too i don't have any problem i won't get mad you know just let me know what do you guys want to watch if you guys have more questions about macros about i don't know against other comps let me know i'm trying to post as much videos as i can about different comps so you guys can see but yeah just hit me up with questions i'm here for you guys thank you so much have a nice day peace peace